hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be giving you guys a slick back hair do's that i do um i'm gonna show you guys what i use but as you guys saw on the thumbnail we are gonna be using lemon and i will explain to you why and then i'm also gonna tell you guys about um the reasons why i doing youtube and just where i see myself with it and yeah so yeah so just kind of where everything began and yeah so let's get started into this video i'm gonna show you guys everything that i use and then what i'm gonna be using okay so i use hairspray um any kind of hairspray um this is a kind of hairspray my sister that my parents have here at the house brush my favorite brush um you can get it at walmart um yeah it works really good really really good i like to like you know put brush your hair down and then i use a toothbrush for now until i get an actual brush for edges and then a comb and now <clears throat> bobby pins um i didn't use bobby pins but i just cut my hair as you guys saw um so now i have to use bobby pins during certain hairstyles so i'm gonna be giving you guys three hairstyles um two that i normally do and then one that i've never done that i'm gonna do so let's get started the lemon I'm using lemon because when I was younger, my mom and my grandma used to put lemon in our hair as like gel or hairspray or whatever because it slicks your hair back down. And it was also like another th way of like lightening your hair. Um, they didn't do it to lighten our hair, but they did it to use it as um, to hold it, to hold our hair down. So I thought about it and I was like, you know what, why not Why not put lemon in my hair? Why not just do lemon? And then just show you guys what I really do use. I'll probably use still some products because I don't know how well this is going to work for like edges. So I'll probably just stick to like, oh, did you guys see that? So I'll probably just stick to like, oh, did you guys see that? I'll stick to just the hairspray and whatever like I use though for like just like a down and stuff. I'm going to use this. I'm not going to put hairspray in my hair. So. Um, I'm, I wet my hair um, because I showered earlier, but my hair was like whoa, like poofy as heck. So it, um, to do my hair, it's a lot easier when it's wet. So I'm just gonna brush it, and then we're gonna do the first hairstyle. I'm gonna do all the hairstyles, the easiest ones, before I get to the last one because once it goes up, it's gonna yeah, speed up. Another thing is. I wanted to see how I would look without sideburns because I don't know if this runs in like families or like I don't know if it's like Mexican a Mexican thing or what it is but we have like some pretty crazy sideburns and I wanted to see how I look without sideburns to see if I liked it and I like it so I'm just gonna stick to not having sideburns for a little bit. Yeah, my head is uh, has a weird shape. I have a worship head. Don't judge me. And I'm looking right here because I have the mirror here. So I'm just going to brush. Oh my god, I forgot that it has this. Wow, I forgot that it has this these pieces of lemon. So I'm just going to put the lemon in my hands. Because this is horrible. Well, that was a fail. Um, I've never put lemon in my hair, guys only my mom and my grandma used to do it to us so i don't know how they did it and i can't remember because i was so little but i'm just gonna pretend like i know how they did it and i'm just gonna brush my hair back with hand, with some lemon just pat that on oh this is what i'm doing squirting it and putting it on my hair let's jump into my youtube stuff i'm gonna say i don't want to like say a number because i don't know i should look on my phone but i'm too busy with lemon in my hands 
But a couple years ago, me and Brennan, who is Ozias' dad, we started a YouTube channel. And we would do it here and there. It was never consistent. Just like something that I like doing. And then, you know, when certain stuff would happen in our lives, then I, I would want to like record. So it was never like a, oh, man everyday thing or like now how i do it three times a week so then we just stopped for a cool minute and then i got pregnant in 2017 and i was like you know what i want to record like i want to record my journey like being pregnant and experiencing all that and i wish i would have recorded more but it was just so much going on you guys go to my very first videos i think it's like the first five or six videos it's about me being pregnant Okay, so now that I brush my hair back, this is, the, this is just like the slick back look. This is like old style, I think. I don't know. But, ew, I have like an alien shaped head. And it does not look cute. It looks cute right here on, on, on the mirror, but not when I'm looking at myself in a camera. Okay, so let's just do my edges. So I'm just gonna spray this. I'm doing it on a towel. So I stopped posting again for like the first year of my baby's life and I wish I didn't do that like I regret it so bad now but I can't go back and I can't change anything and then recently like a couple months ago as like you guys saw I've been posting and you know I've just been more active and I haven't stopped and my reason for it is because ever since like moving out here where we live now it's just different um we've struggled a little bit more with money and stuff this is not this is not just the only reason why this is just what motivated me more living comfortably you know like i'm tired of living like that when my parents work so much but do you know like California ain't cheap it's kind of and then I'm a mom so I want to I want to do better you know like I want to give my baby everything he can possibly have this is I actually like it hey Jalissa you're doing something there okay so that's hairstyle number one and these might be like little like for short hair okay so let's move on to the next hairstyle let me get some water so these this hairspray isn't so stiff and brush it out okay so basically like all in all i just want to help my family move forward you know like live better like live comfortably live you know and i feel like i know what i'm capable of doing i know what i can do with with youtube and just how i love doing it like i know what i can do so yeah number one is you know for my family so i just love doing it it's something that i enjoy doing um i lo i enjoy editing um just mainly capturing those little moments especially with my baby growing up and you know just seeing also my life progress if that makes sense like you know like just getting better like growing a platform people supporting me like me being able to support other people or me being able to tell people like yeah just do it like don't be scared you know like i was always scared and so i never did it and finally i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it like i'm not gonna care of people bashing me or people telling me that i'm dumb that i'm not gonna get nowhere that that's embarrassing or that you know i don't know just all that stuff so yeah that's my reasoning of doing youtube and i really hope that it gets somewhere and that people really enjoy watching watching me and my family and my life and just supporting me you know okay so hairstyle number two is just slick back to the side i used to wear my hair down the middle but i stopped liking it um i don't know why i just don't like it no more I just, I feel like it made me, I don't know, made me look some type of way. 
so I'm just gonna use more lemon. Look at that lemon. Whoa. I spilled all my lemon and I got seeds on me. So I feel like I'm doing it for a little bit of everything. So not just myself, but for my family, the ones that I love, my son's future, you know, like for him to go to college, like it's gonna have my son set. Don't look at my armpits, I haven't waxed. Dang, I think I like the lemon thing better. Where's my Leah? It doesn't make your hair like super stiff at the beginning it lets you work like it lets you work its way into like it drying if that makes sense rather than with hairspray that that drink gets hard like real quick like it doesn't even give you time to like go back and fix it okay so now that i got the lemon in there i'm gonna go back with the stuff and I'm just gonna do this all over again I hated my freaking forehead like I, I just hated it you know because like I don't I mean in my head my forehead's bigger than you know normal but I used to hate it so bad like you guys have no idea like I was embarrassed of myself like I, I mean that's why that, that's that's the insecurity i have like wait i don't know what is going on right here i used to get like bangs and i hated bangs like like imagine my hair being freaking curly and then freaking putting bangs like you know how horrible that was like but it was because i was so insecure about my freaking forehead <laughs> And then recently, I just I didn't care. Like, I was like, you know what? Why am I going to care what people think? You know, like, I got to love myself no matter what. So, I just started not giving a shit. And I just started loving my freaking hair. Or my big ass forehead. Um, so now, speaking of that about my hair. So, I used to hate my hair. Like, hate it. Because it was curly. It wasn't straight. You know, like. When I was younger, none, I, none of my friends had curly hair. You know? I used to wake my mom. I'm not even joking. Like, I literally asked my mom about it. Like, I was like, do you remember that? I literally used to wake my mom up every morning before school to do my hair, to straighten my hair. And one time, she didn't want to get up, and I was crying. I was crying on the side of her bed, telling her, no please like wake up do my hair like i don't want to go to school like that so my mom like she felt bad and she got up and she did my hair but still like that's how bad it was and this was when my hair was this short well it was a little bit longer i've never had my hair this short and now i like love my hair i'm just like why was i like that like why was i so insecure about so many stuff about myself like it's ridiculous and another thing I never used to do my hair like this. Let me tell you guys the reason why I never used to pull my hair back behind my ears. Because of my ears. You see how my ears pop out on the side like that? I have really small ears. But my ears pop like they like do they do this little flick at, at the top. And I hated it so bad. Like I would literally sometimes think like I wonder if I can get surgery for them to like sew that shit to like the back of my head or something like i hated my ears and then one day i was just like why like why am i doing this to myself and it was just like repetitive like there's so much and i've learned so much from growing up but it's just like why like i might have those ears no matter what well unless i get like surgery if that's even real like i don't know it was just crazy i was just a mess basically <sighs> so all that talking i hope you guys like me talking about like myself and my life and just like just how i used to be oh my god sorry i have boogers i'm probably gonna cut this out because look at my nose this is the second hairstyle that i started doing even when my hair was longer like because my hair was it was you guys saw it in the, the, the last video when i did the scrunchies on um, my hair was like medium medium long 
um no medium short maybe yeah medium short medium long i don't know one of those whatever you guys want to think of it is and now i like cut it so short like this is what i have but yeah so the lemon thing i'm loving the lemon thing i think i'm gonna start doing the lemon thing this was just for the video just to tell you guys that my mom and my grandma used to do this to us and my grandma used to do it to my mom and my mom told us that she used to have like bees flying around her and stuff i was like whoa like i don't remember that maybe i saw like bees coming and i was like whoa you know get away you guys should try it and it gives it that like pretty shine but it's not hard like yo i love it okay so now i'm gonna do the last hairstyle um i don't really do this one as much i was i used to just do like a crazy bun but because of my forehead this is my second attempt doing this video because i thought it was super cute to do so ozias does good when i'm vlogging because it's you know it's hands-on he's in it we're moving around he's happy he's doing what he wants but when it comes to sitting down he has meltdowns and i'm not even joking like I shoot this video earlier so i would have had this up already for you guys but because it was so bad we redo the whole thing because he cried throughout every single hairstyle and i just couldn't do it oh yeah <gasps> careful and then start bobby pinning it but anyways like i was saying ozayas is a very hands-on child so he wants to be consistently doing stuff you know back to back back to back he doesn't Mama? Just... oh yeah baby some water in it oh thanks he doesn't like just sitting around you know sitting on the couch like that's just not him like he will not sit down and watch movies like he wants to be up and about outside you know he's kind of doing anything that it's all over you and he's right in front of the camera say hi <laughs> say hi okay so i kind of like how it looks with no edges so i would probably either do edges or no edges so this is no edges well oh. the hardest thing about being about doing videos is my baby like knowing when he's okay you know I think I just like with the edges because it gives my face more definition, you know, mm. and it doesn't make it look so big. So I kind of told you guys a little bit about what YouTube is for me, why I started, difficulties of doing it with him, and just stuff about like my childhood, like I told you guys about this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video of um, styles of your hair being slicked back. Of what i do don't forget to subscribe give this video a fat thumbs up turn your post notifications on so you guys get notified every time i post we'll see you guys in the next video bye